So, hey y'all, it's been a long time since we've checked in on Leah's renovation. You might remember that we're redoing mainly her kitchen. Oh my gosh, Leah, you, you grew up. I'm getting <laughs> And also some bathrooms upstairs. Okay, so this window okay, is gonna move into the bathroom. And eventually we're gonna be ordering all the furniture her, for her downstairs spaces. And as per usual, I feel like all of the projects are coming together kind of at the same time. So Leah's and Emily's and Jenny's, they're all kind of at the same point of progress. So the contractors are trying to finish it up. The homeowners are getting anxious to get into their space. Um, and so this is gonna be another reveal show of how the spaces are coming together. So thank y'all for watching. She decided to put in a pool and for years I've been bugging her about opening up the back of her house. So when the pool was going in, I was like, all right, Leah, you just got to do it. And now it's turned into opening it up, redoing all the interior and redoing the kitchen. In the front living room, we're moving out a lot of the old furniture, which was oversized and too big in scale for the rest of the room. We're going to be using some transitional pieces that have both modern and old touches, as well as some modern pieces like the acrylic coffee table. And then we're also going to mix in some old antiques. So, See where they've, they've started to, yep. cut, to put the window there. Which is going to be amazing. You're going to like have so much view yeah. of the outside. The whole back of the house used to be basically closed off. Leah, doesn't this already feel so good? Oh, it's great. This used to be a really big, awkward opening. You can see where the sheetrock is coming. So it, it went all the way up to there and didn't have any trim or anything. So we're closing it in and we're gonna mimic the opening on this side, we're gonna create the, with the old transom, cased opening, mimic the room so that this becomes a much more architecturally correct. Basically, this is gonna be a walk-in shower. We're gonna leave the vanity where it is, but then we're gonna put, we're gonna take this door out and we're gonna use the window that's in the bedroom, put it here, and then put a big freestanding tub, which will be really nice for her and change the flooring, change all the finishes, basically gut and redo, but try to leave most of the plumbing in place. <laughs> so, let's see where we are. We um, have sheetrock, yeah. primer. Okay, so I guess I'd say it's a little bit of the sheetrock, but the lights look great, small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many do we have? We have the one to this door, and then we were gonna do one for this opening. It looks like that, and it looks like that. Okay. So then my question would be, why would we not use this one there that matches the other one already exactly. built original yeah. to the house? With the window. That's a, With the window. That's perfect. You're right. And we should. Yeah, this one needs to come out. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, that one should be This one needs to go there. there. Right here. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd put an outlet if it was me on each side, just just in case, just to have it. And the other thing I usually do is put an outlet if the vanity is going to be here. Mm -hmm. If the vanity is going to be here, I usually put an outlet down just so if you 
Who knows? Like, if yeah. people are drying your hair, yeah, you've got it in the drawer, but sometimes it's just easier to have an outlet that's like... And is the, van the vanity's not going to the wall? No. So it's just going to be sort of freestanding yes. piece of furniture yes. with the marble. And yes. what are we... Is it having a little marble back kick? Well, did, we, did you do the wainscot? What happened? Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> Where's that go? Well, that goes the whole way around. Where does it stop over here? At the tile? Yeah. Um, all right. Is the kids got, what's, what, yeah. Watch out, this is real, or not right. Okay. So we've got it this one too? We've got it this one too, all the way to the attic. Here's my question though, is now that we've actually gutted this thing. Yeah. Do you want to just move the toilet? Where would we move? That everything's, I mean, that's the norm is everything's against one wall and not two. I would love that. Talk to Trip about it. All the plumbing, obviously, is. Yeah, up. I mean, I don't know what that cost looks like, but I'm just like, I wasn't expecting us to have gutted this whole thing. It looks to me like this is just coming this way and grabbing the toilet, so it looks like you could easily, you know, it's just, just a it. It's just go that way instead of go this way, unless I'm missing something. Christmas over here. Ooh, look how pretty. I like the pretty stuff. Oh yeah, that is gonna be pretty. Oh yeah, yeah she's yeah. excited about the, the, the toilet cool thing, handle. She's so organized, it's crazy. I, I mean, I've never had a job where she's got all the specs. She's got that. <laughs> she's so organized, she And it's is. like all laid out, so like, if there's anything left over, she wrote it on the box, so. Oh yeah, so there's, yeah, these things are cool. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, so that'll all be exposed. Okay. Oh, so this is the sink and the vanity. Okay. Where is the vanity, Trill? Oh, here it is. Yay. Okay, I've got to give you a paint color. This looks great. And the vanity has enough room for the for the drain, right? We good there? Ooh. Wait, no, because we still have to cut a hole okay. back there, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm think that they probably yeah. know that, right? Yeah, we're gonna cut that based okay. on your what your need. Okay. Yeah, you can rough the, your drain in. I am. Uh, I'm noticing that because I, I'm gonna so measure gonna cut all this out. If we can get away with fitting the peat trap in. All right, so checking up on Leah's house. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, we got a countertop going in. The tile is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see how this bathroom came out. Oh, this marble looks great. So good. The cabinet all custom built. We've got the stone in. This all looks really, really great. And I don't know if you can see it, but in the little nook, we did the marble that's on the floor lined it all with the pencil at the edge this is the avalon which looks so good and of course we added that window we've got the two sconces we've got the toilet moved which is so much better Getting this all painted. The pretty white ceiling. And this color looks so pretty with the pretty white ceiling. This room's gonna get a different color eventually. All right. 
It's all coming together. Hi. My goodness! It's getting there! It's coming together! It's so close! You know, and you and I are going to drink wine and whitewash the... Yes. <laughs> Whenever you point, point it. And the more wine, the better it will get. The more wine, the better. Probably not. <laughs> or not. Oh my gosh, Leah! Can crazy. you believe it? Oh my gosh, the before and after is like Huge. amazing. Like this is fun. so much more happy. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, and your hood looks great. Oh, it looks great. The little detail. Yeah, and which was so necessary. <laughs> oh, that. So that's great. And oh, gosh. We only have oh, wait, is that the refrigerator? Yes. I know, I need to call them. Oh, so this is the, ah, the range is here. Look how pretty. Oh, oh my gosh, Leah, you, you grew up. I'm getting <laughs> Oh, that's right, you're with Pierre. Mm -hmm. That splash is so pretty. Wow. Is it Pierre? I'm not Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> I work for him. I've yet to meet Pierre. Me either. I've texted that's with Pierre. I've <laughs> so here's a question. When every, this all goes in and we get ready to take this up, mm -hmm. um, obviously it needs to be sealed. It has, it has been sealed twice. Oh, twice. I have sealed it twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, depending on if Pierre wants to come back and seal it again, one more time. One more time. Yeah. We'll okay. do it again. Um, clean it up. Have it looking fresh. Yeah. That'd be great. So, what what is y'all's words of wisdom about etching and marble? Yes. And stay cleaners. And cleaners. Stay away from anything acidic. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't really drink good. red wine. <laughs> So I should just go rent an apartment to cook? <laughs> Do something outside. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, but seriously, like marble is one of those things you have to kind of like, if you're going to really you use and cook in it, you, you have to seal it. How you often? Uh, once a year? Once a year is a good thing. I have marble in my kitchen. Um, I like to do it every six months. Okay. And what did you seal it with? It's not heard. Uh, they have a bunch of different. Yeah, they have multiple seals you can get from Home Depot. Um, okay. Where it's fine. It's better more often. You can, you can feel it. You can see the water, but it's kind of wet. Yeah. You see the, the water, water will beat up. up. After a while, it's not beating as much. But does the, does, the, does the sealer prevent from, like, the white wine etching? and? It will sometimes. But not how all. How, how fast you catch it. Yeah, how long it Okay. Yeah. Okay. How fast it is. So it helps, but it doesn't it necessarily. Yeah, it does. And then if you, if you do get a lot of etching, that's when you have to come in and just re. Sand it? You can. You can. You can't. Yeah, it's, it's never, yeah, it's never gonna get back to the, the resin coating that it has. Okay. We're getting this backsplash piece in. It's the last one. It's yeah. really great. And once this all comes off, we're really gonna see that pretty, the difference in that white and that color. Just so nice. This looks so good. It looks like perfect, traditional, good, yes. beautiful kitchen. All right. You wanna come see the upstairs? Yeah, come show us the upstairs. It looks so good. Makes a difference for it to be all one, all one piece. Was this set where it was supposed to be? Yeah, it should be off the wall. And is the van the vanity's not going to the wall? No. Yeah. So it's just going to be sort of freestanding yes. piece of furniture yes. with the marble. Oh yeah, you centered it on that. Yep. Okay. No, it looks. Oh, and the paint. Come, come see the paint from here. That looks so pretty. I know, on the camera it's looking gray, but it really has that nice, like, greeny gray yeah. color. Yeah, so we were just looking at how the tile differentiates, and perhaps, I don't know if you can tell, some of them are lighter and some of them are a little darker. And it's almost like they should have spread them out. So we're going to ask, them. mix them in. So we're going to ask if that can be remedied at this point in time. You know, and this bathroom looks so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, so good. And the floor in this bathroom. Love, love, love. Gorgeous. Yeah. So they've got a piece of tile with the white grout. 
um, look at. We could do a gray grout in here since this has the gray in it. So you don't have to clean it as often, but it, it does take away from like kind of the brightness yeah. of it. So there's always that trade-off. Trade -off. I would definitely do the white in the shower. Um, but we it could try to, to find a really a, light. It would have to be a super light gray. Right. But they've got, let's see, there's a sample out here on the porch. With it. There, yeah, you oh, can see it, it right there. Yeah. Yeah, I think white is the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see what you, I mean, it's gonna, it's less cleaning for you, but it's a different look, right? but it's a lot less clean. And the joints on this are so good because they're so, they're little. It's, good. it's definitely a different book. Yeah. So it's really up to, the white's always prettier, but it, it, it the white is gonna get dirty. It Does it dry a little bit lighter? Yes. So it's not that dark. Okay, well why don't you see, I'm okay either way. So I, it really is a personal preference between like the cleaning and the, yeah. And the maintenance. Should, should we, and the, let's and do the, a little white on the one next to it. Okay. And then we'll do the look. Yeah. yeah. So coming up, we're going to keep walking you guys through these projects. So we've got the Smiley's. We've got more Jenny's. We've got just all these projects keep going week by week so you can see the progress and how a real construction project comes to fruition. Please let us know what you want to see more of or if there's any how-tos or what you're interested in from Atelier Design. And please, because it helps so much with the algorithms to keep this going, like and subscribe. Thanks, y'all.